All right, so after a little bit of a setback in the last episode, we have now finished up Dusty with the chance of Rain with an S rank as well, and we struck 80% done with the region as well, so really, really cool. Region 24 bonus mission number B, clean out the cleaners is what we are doing now, but not really, out to the cleaners, at least. This is a short mission, 45 minutes for an S rank, so let's kick it off. It's been a long time since we had one of these shorter missions, so it's going to be interesting to see what they're going to throw at us this time. Who knows? So yeah, last time we got informed that the all the water and all the terraforming we were doing, it kind of just didn't work because the water was contaminated, so all of our efforts were just for, for in vain, so to say. And now it looks like they are still looking into the com the con Contamination? Yeah. Don't have the time to investigate further, but we do have a short-term solution. A Sembra. Oh, that stuff again? You can eat anything. <laughs> you won't even need to spend money researching what the contaminant is. It's the best possible solution for our bright problem. Once we have production up and running, we need to export the Sembra at a steady rate back to T's. Will do. We built this before, so this shouldn't be... This shouldn't be too bad. We need to produce 64 Assembra. This region has production capabilities for Assembra. Try to get the facility back online. All right. So we do have the Assembra right there. We also have... Somehow changed over my keyboard to not work anymore. We have a Zeppelin dock. We got some copper. We got a lot of silica. A little bit of water. Housings. Geothermal power plant. Oh, this is like... Limited, limited. Oil. All right. Very interesting. So what do we need to do here? You need CPUs. CPUs are produced by this guy. So somewhere around here probably. To do fairly well. And then we're gonna need neon gas. Which honestly, do we want to do... Probably want to do the gas itself, right? Because we can do plasticizer, yeah, oil refinery into that, and then that into neon gas, and then we ship the neon gas. Yeah, that makes sense. So this guy right here, I think. And then another one right there. This guy on top here. Can we have it? Okay, uh, not that. It's gonna go right here. Very good. And then we're gonna have the... Neon refinery right here as well. And then we just need wires to add to that as well. Very good. Should we take a loan to do that? No, probably not. Probably not. Let's get rid of you. Let's get a oil well onto here. Like that. And then you should do something like that to begin with. So that is the initial setup. I don't think we want to do much more than that because then we won't be able to afford any trains. So if we put some trains onto that and then we have this for copper and wire, which is very short. I guess we're going to have to use a lot of these. I don't think we can make robot arms. I highly doubt that, but we'll see. Let's go with some boilers right there. That should be good. Have him start shipping some stuff. And our 45 minutes has begun. So that means that you are now producing. Very good. Worst case scenario, we can sell this off over at the Zeppelin dock as well. I would like to not have to do that, though. That would be really good if we didn't have to. Then is the question. Do we want to take a loan so we can get this copper going? Or what do we want to do here? Actually, I think we should get the silica first. Get the silica into here. It can hold quite a bit, so... That might actually be worth it. Yeah, getting a loan on top of this is not going to be very good. 
So we're going to wait a little bit, see if we can get the money for this. At least 64 Umbra is not that much to fill up here. So we can do... Yeah, it's level 5, so it will be producing fairly quickly once we get everything up and running. Alright, just waiting for a little bit of money here. A lot of this seems to be waiting time. We'll see if we will be able to actually finish this mission the way we intend to here, or if we're gonna have to ship something else around somehow. Maybe we actually have to start with silica and uh, raw pieces, and then selling that off once this guy gets full. Actually, not sure. We'll see. We'll see. If this works, then uh, I guess it works. Let's do that. Let's get you... If we get you to go here, that would be kind of nice. Let's let him make a little bit more money. There we go. Could we actually connect you to here? And have that train do this instead? Why not, right? What if I delete those to put silica on you instead? And then we put you up to there. Yeah, early game like this is so slow. It's just painfully slow. This should at least be paying fairly okay once we get everything to actually sell off here. Maybe I should have started on this side, that might have make, made more sense. Oh well. So this is gonna have to go this way. That should do okay. We'll do that and then... Now we just need to wait for money, that's about it. That's about it. At least we're making... Oh, you're already full. That's not good. Yeah, that's not very good. Um, maybe I do actually need a loan. What if we... We throw a few thousand from here and then go copper mine. We're only going to be able to fit Two of these? Really? Yeah, however I do this, I will not be able to fit more than maybe three? No. We're only fitting two here, however we want it to work. Oof. Now we're actually paying so much in interest. This is what I was worried about. And that's only for the CPUs. I guess reactives we can kind of get over here anyway. Solvent on the other hand, not so much. What am I supposed to do about that though? Can't really sell anything to gain from it either. Maybe if I sell this guy. Uh, and this guy. And this guy. I can get a train onto here. And have him deliver to here, which hopefully will make enough money that we can... Actually, I'm kind of losing money doing this. Am I not? Yeah. Once this one is empty, we are going to lose more money than we're making. Ah, uh, okay. This was dumb in so many ways. Okay, we're gonna give it an another try. We're gonna restart here and I'm gonna try once more. Okay, decided to start out a little bit differently this time around. Instead of starting with the CPUs, I'm gonna start by having this Solva working for me. That will give us a lot of this stuff. And then we're going to do the reactives as well. So we're kind of working the other way around this time. I figured it could be a fairly decent idea here. 
We do that, we'll then bring these guys over this way. Have you go same height? I can. So we do that. Get some workers into here as well. And that is going to need a oil well. Which is going to do exactly the same as it did before. So that's not going to change at all. So those two right there. We still have 5,000 to finish up all of this. I think we're going to need that for the train. So I'm actually just going to get this going from here. And this is probably going to need a little bit more train than what we have there since before. This can probably do a workhorse with four of those. And this is just going to need that. There we go, boiler and a waste. That should be fine. And now the salva is producing. And we still have 3000 left in the bank. This guy can then sell those off. You will probably be okay. Yes, we'll go with you, Deluxe and Six Solvents. And that should be the majority of everything we need there. So now we just need to let this make enough money that we can buy this CPU stuff that we need next. And part of that is to start producing Neon, which we did in the last, last attempt as well. 4,000 for that. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. So you will go this way. On the way back. So that way he can drop off to this guy as well. So then we're using all of the... Oil we can. This is looking good. Yes, you're using the extras we're building up. I guess we're just waiting now then. And we can store a lot of solvent here, so I don't really have to worry about that either. All right, this seems a lot better. We didn't need to use a loan this time around, and we're already on the way to making these grey goo this time around. So, attempt number two, success, maybe, maybe. There we go, that should be all of the oil that we need for this. Very good, this guy is bringing that stuff over to there, and we just need to wait for money now to be able to get those neon and CPUs building. Should be fairly good. Okay, so it seems like it's going to take a while for us to get CPUs going. So my idea instead is actually to produce wires. Because we're going to need that as well. And that's going to go across here. And let's see if we get a copper mine onto here. Still do not understand how you're supposed to be able to do that with only one, one item. That's kind of weird to me, but fine. We'll do that. We'll do this and we'll get... Did I... Yeah, that's not needed. You can go up top. There. Get this guy. I'm gonna wait for a little bit of money and then we're gonna ship that onto there. And we can just sell that directly to the Zeppelin dock. That will actually be pretty good. So, workhorse with maybe six of them we can even do. Since it's flat ground, it's usually okay to do that. It's not gonna be like super fast, but it's gonna be able to do its job at least. Yeah, my idea here is to do something like that, and then for now I'm just gonna do, do this. And then we can go with... We will be able to use four of these, I guess, at most. 
We can have one right here. And then two there. That'll be great. That will be great. Actually gonna reshin shuffle this a little bit. Get two of you onto there. Speed that up a little bit. Alright. Unfortunately wire is not paying very well. So that kinda is what it is. Not too much we can do about that at the moment. Okay, things are coming along nicely. We are still not producing any Asimbra and we're actually past the 30 minute mark now. I was hoping to start producing by now. But yeah, it's really expensive to do these CPUs. So I guess we're going to have to save up a little bit. And then once we get that going, I think we're going to be in fairly good order, actually. That should be perfectly fine. It's just we're not making very much money. That's the biggest issue. We could be doubling this up, I guess. With water, right? That could be a decent option. And then you should go... Let's see... Like that. And then back the same way. Over to here. And you are going this way. Okay. Now producing stuff with water as well. Let's turn you around. You don't have any more water available. Which means that we are increasing the catalysts that we have. And I'm going to continue just depositing money now. Over and over again. Still need these to get the catalyst as well, but they should fairly soon. That made a fairly large difference in income at least. We're up to about 1600 now. That helps. Uh, we could maybe even get this to produce a little bit faster. A couple of thousand, but then we're spending money that I would like to spend on other things. So maybe wait a little bit with that. Once we have the technically 12,000 that we need. That would be good, but I think we're gonna go for 4,000, get the Neon up and running, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, that should be what we need. Let's take that out. Let's get a neon refinery on here. Right there. Something like that. You. Get a couple of those on there. And we're still not producing any of that December. But what's good about it is that we're building up a lot of the items that we need, at least. So everything is not just just lost, so to say. We are actually building up a fair amount of stuff around here. Now I think this is actually running out of space as well. Which is interesting. I wonder if... Hmm. Is it worth it to upgrade this to include more? Might be. Not sure though. Yeah, if we withdraw so we have 8000, that way we can build that CPU fab right here. And start having you ship that into here. That's a lot of, lot of interest that we're gonna accumulate through that. But I think it's gonna pay off in the long run. I do believe it will pay off in the long run. There, let's have you stop doing that, sell this off, get this with wire. As long as we make enough money that we can actually put down the trains on here. This should be paying off fairly well. I think this one is probably the one we want to start with, because I think this will make more money quickly, quicker than the Neon will. 
It'll take a while for the neon to be traveling back and forth. This should be possible to deliver anytime now. There we go. That will be the silica that you need. Okay. CPUs are a go. Let's make it two of them. And we should now be producing the goo stuff. Very good. Very good. Then, let's see, if I go with you over here. That should be pretty good. Get diesel train, maybe? Four of those. Uh, what else? I guess we need some incinerators. Whether I like it or not. Yeah, if we do two of these, that should probably cover that. All of a sudden we're making a lot of money as well. Isn't that nice? I feel a lot more confident now. This should get us producing fairly quickly. How much are you producing? Four every 18 seconds. Wow. You are using two every 32 seconds. Oh well, it's gonna do for now. It will do for now. Can we add something here for you as well? Um, what if I add a incinerator right around here somewhere? Yeah, that works. And then have... You do that. A couple of those and a couple of those. You four trains. Give me money. Give me money. Yeah, we should be able to get everything we need here, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, we only have 16 minutes to do this though, and we've done eight so far. This guy is clearly running out of CPUs, so that should be our main main focus. Can we try to get rid of this interest? I'm not really liking it. Or should we try to make more money instead? Maybe if I make more money, that'll be better. Probably have a few more of these as well. more wire coilers do those do these maybe even four one more there both of those should be running consistently if this guy is empty oh he's using catalysts as well okay so you can actually support four of these how much do you need? You need two wire every 16 seconds at the moment. These are producing two every 32 seconds, so this should be enough to cover both of your needs. Okay, let's see if we can keep up with all of this now then. This guy should be producing enough that he will double his production almost. Uh, do we not have... Oh, this guy is not producing enough. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. So we don't need you to pick up from that guy. That's not needed. You can have all of yours. Wow. Oh, you are not having enough workers. Didn't really expect this to be the main issue. I thought we would be fine when it comes to... The incineration, at least. Come on now, 13 minutes left. We're kind of doing half of what we actually need here. So yeah, we need a lot more of this CPU stuff. 
10 minutes left to go. These guys are still struggling a little bit. Not really with waste anymore though, so that's good to see. Probably need this guy to be producing a lot faster. Uh, do you get water? You do not. You do now. Let's get another water pump on here as well. That should help with that. Eight minutes left to go. We are producing the amount that we need, so I think we should be able to do this. We just need 44 of them. And yeah, it's just reactives that's actually a little bit too slow now. So once we get, get this up and running, should be good. Should be good. All right, so he should be able to handle the majority of all the oil we're getting there. So we just need to expand this guy to be producing way more than what he is right now. Kind of missing a lot of money just from the actual interest here. I'm gonna try to pay off within the next few minutes. See if we can get rid of that loan and then use the money to expand this guy. So if we do this, and then we'll get another refinery right here. That should double the production for these. Get those workers in there, and then just spam all the money into these two. Five minutes left to go. And yeah, it's definitely the... You don't really need to push as hard anymore. We technically have 10 we can do now, which is enough for you, so this guy can stop. We can get these guys to start producing way faster. Change you over to this. Come on, make some money. Make some money, I believe in you. There we go. Do that, do that. Well, you need four every 18 seconds. These guys are producing. Ooh, we are actually producing quite a bit now. Okay, we just need to get a bunch of money then. This guy is not able to keep up. This is not good. We're three minutes in and we are struggling, man. I think if we can get these two output as much as possible, we should be able to keep up with this. I think it should work. Okay, so how is this looking? You are now producing. Two per minute. This guy is going back. These are still... Can we take a loan? What if we loan a bunch of money from you guys and we'll slap those down. Get you onto here. Still need four grand for that. Damn. Damn, come on. Throw more money. Come on now. Get me there. We're so close. Eight more to go and... We can clearly do this. Okay, are you producing now? I think the uptime for this actually looks okay. So if we get everything delivered, we might be able to do this. We need six delivered in the next one and a half minutes. Ooh, that might be tight. We got four coming there. And then we need one more from here. Please tell me we have enough to keep up with 4.5. We're so close. Only two more. That's that one done. 17 seconds. Please jump up to 4.5. <laughs> yes! We actually did it. Damn. Okay. I guess second attempt still counts. Still counts. S ranked 44 seconds, 48 
No, 44 minutes, 48 seconds. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. It came down to the wire for sure. Uh, we actually dropped down below again directly after we le reached it. So, yeah, this was this was tough. Simply because you have so few resources that early games just generally really, really hard. But I think I'm learning that larger trains really, really, really benefits in the late game. Just because the turnaround time doesn't really matter that much. If you can ship 18, 20 items at once. So yeah, here we are. Everything seems to be working as we were hoping. Everything from... CPUs to the reactives and what's this solvents I think everything is just kind of working let's see if they are accepting our water stuff or what's gonna come from that accept victory yes please looks like they're actually satisfied with that very cool well then I guess that's gonna do it for this episode next time we're gonna look into brewing up a storm I'm really good at that I am um, expert at crea creating chaos so please join me there if you have enjoyed this one click that subscribe button and i would love for you to click that like button as well because that's always nice and i would like to see you in the next one so until then bye bye everyone <laughs>